uh, for you to develop blockchain application. But it's just good to know, I mean, uh, how people are using, are doing this, uh, so that when you look at other people, uh, read other people by paper or other people design, at least you know what what they are trying to do. I mean, are they trying to to be? Uh, are they, are they, do they have finality settlement or in the finality, or do they uh, a consistency? I mean, or are they more go for the availability. So the uh, I just briefly go through how the Bitcoin uses this thing called proof of work to achieve the consensus. Hey Lawrence. Yeah. 誒、uh, 你嗰度咧誒係咪有一個 option 咧？而家畫咗兩條誒綠色線，你有冇 option 係清咗佢？我清唔到啊！呢、這個誒，你喺你喺你，好好好爽！邊個畫嘅？我係點解係你自己畫嘅？冇我我冇，喺度乜都已經唔係你畫噶。No no。Okay。But I I think it's okay. okay. Sorry sorry. I think I think I didn't put a green line. I don't know who put green. Okay. Uh, so uh, the let's say uh, in the in the Bitcoin, okay. Let's say now there's uh, there are few trans. Uh, someone want to propose some transaction. Let's say you want to send say ten Bitcoin to your friend, okay. So you this is one transaction. So as I say that um, in the Bitcoin, they don't just handle one transaction. They will group all the transaction together, okay, to a block. So this is happening every on average every ten minutes. So every ten minutes, I mean, there been uh, there be different proposal of from different people. Okay, maybe uh, uh, A want to send ten bitcoin to B, maybe uh, C want to send five bitcoin to E. So there's a lot of transaction. Okay, all this proposal, it's not on the chain yet. Okay, the proposal. So first of all, the next step is that um, all this transaction have has to let everyone know and have to broadcast all the note. Okay, through through the uh, the uh, Uh, Bitcoin network, okay, because other people have to know because this is a public chain, so everyone have has have to know what's going on, okay, and then also you need to broadcast because you need to verify all this transaction, right, before they can or come to a consensus of, of all the transaction before they can be ready, before you can write them on the chain, okay, so you broadcast it to everyone. Now, of course, I want to broadcast. People receive it. Okay, now people have the people. Uh, these are what we call miner. Okay, they are people who will go and validate transaction. Uh, and they there's a certain rule they have to follow, right? For example, well, what they have to follow? Well, first of all, let's say uh, they saw one transaction is uh, A want to send five Bitcoin to B. Well, obviously they have to verify whether A his account. Does really has five big, um, five or more bitcoin? Otherwise, how how do I see he cannot send five bitcoin to other people? Also, he has to this all these notes have to also make sure that this person is not double spend. Mean that this, the five bitcoin is also sent to to other party. Okay, so this is the thing they want to validate. Okay, um, the. You might ask why we want the why want people want to validate why why do you, why do you want the people I mean what what's the incentive Well, the incentive comes because people who are going to do this validation might earn Bitcoin. That is the reward. So that's why they have incentive. Now, now okay. Now, so so people are are, are trying to uh, look at and uh, look at the transaction verify, but who is going to But there, as you, but there are many, many nodes in in the Bitcoin, uh, well, okay, node. I mean, that's as I said, okay, if there's a centralized party, it's very easy. So all the transaction would go to that centralized trusted party, and he verify, if, if uh, like in a bank. But now here we, in this is a very the decentralized network, there's no such party or bank. So everyone is trying to verify it, okay. Now who is going to say this are the transaction that going to put on the uh, new block? Who's who's going to do? Well, so Bitcoin do something very interesting. It's some kind of random join in some sense. Is what they do is the following. Okay, they um. Okay, so what it, what it does is that uh, the everyone will will know what is the previous block, right? So the previous block, okay. Let's say you are now 
uh, block 10, right? Now you're coming to block 11. Okay, so previous block, right? Remember, as I say that, the way to represent all the transaction uh, is to use the sigmatical tree. So the previous hash is basically amounts to all the transaction in block 10, but might be many of them. You just, you just compute the root hash. Okay? That's the previous hash. Okay, so that, that and when you come to block 11, you will, everyone will know what, what the previous hash will be from block 10. Like everyone will know that information. So that's, that's known. Also known, known is that the new transaction that being proposed, which is the one from TXC, this is the new block of transaction that they broadcasted. That is also known because the node will have received all this uh, transaction. Again, uh, it will represent by looking at the root, okay, the hash root, root hash. So this is also known. The timestamp, of course, is known. I mean, the system will tell you what the timestamp is. Okay, so what all these people, the miner, what they're doing this is very funny. There's a very funny thing going on is that, okay, is that the system will sort of set a, a what they call a difficulty, okay, meaning that the difficulty is in, uh, in terms of number of zero, okay, the more zero, the more difficult it is, okay. So what it is is that, um, as I said, okay, think of the bracket, the three things are known. So all the people, the, the node or the so-called miner, they will, what would they do is that they keep all have to change this unknown number called announced. It's brute force. They do it one by one, such that what, such that when you combine this four thing, you concatenate, put them together, okay, 